Welcome everyone, here is how you connect your Z Fold 4 to uh, an external monitor or TV. So there are two ways of doing this and I'll also cover deck so make sure you watch the full thing. The first way, the way I'm doing, is I have a USB-C cable and this is USB-C to HDMI, okay? The HDMI part is plugged into my TV and what that means is one cable to, you know, do the connection and you're connected to the TV. The disadvantage with this cable, okay, I'll have a link in Amazon if you want to buy one, but you cannot charge your Z Fold 4 while you are connected to the TV. So if you're doing extended sessions, that will cause issues. So the solution is you're going to get this right here, a USB-C hub. So you connect this USB side into the Z Fold 4, you connect a HDMI cable one end into the HDMI slot, the other end into the TV, and power delivery means you can charge your Z Fold 4 at the exact same time, okay? So this anchor uh, uh, USB-C, uh, you know, adapter will work, USB-C hub, any hub can work. This is 50 pounds, it's quite expensive. There are cheaper ones for 20 pound. So I have a link in the description if you want to browse all the USB-C hubs available. And once you do this, again, you just connect one end into the Z Fold 4, the other end into the TV, and then you're good to go. But first of all, I am screen mirroring, okay? So let me just bring this up here. You can see the screen is mirrored. A reaction I do is synced. Do keep in mind, first of all, the screen refresh rate will be limited to 60 FPS. So things may feel a little bit laggy, okay? Like there's gonna be very high touch latency. So if you plan on gaming, I <laughs> think again. Second of all, dex mode. You can use dex mode with Z Fold 4. I would recommend it. We don't have this extreme lag here. So in order to do that, slide down from the top once. Slide down from the top one more time and just tap on the dex mode. Now, just keep in mind, guys, if you're doing this for the first time, you may have prompts. Just uh, just tap on continue and it'll bring you into the dex mode. So from here, if we take a look at the screen, we now have the separate screen all dex. And then we have the regular device. You're going to notice the touch, you know, latency, etc. is solved. So your device is more smooth. But how enough do we control the dex mode, right? Well, magic, well, maybe, but uh, an even better way than magic is you just tap on this button here. It will bring you into the trackpad menu. So you can just use your Z4 4 as a trackpad. Long press and drag, let's drag, double tap to click, okay. And if you just want to close out something, you can just tap once. Uh, if you tap with two fingers, you'll do a right tap, of course. I mean, I'm holding my thumb here, so I can't really do that. And uh, that is the solution right there. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.